Hi everyone, it's Robin. So I'm back with one more D stash. This is lot six. Um, before I get into it, I'll tell you the rules in case you haven't heard them yet. This is US only, PayPal only, friends and family, please. I'll leave my email address in the description box down below. And you can email me there letting me know which lot that you're you're interested in. It's first come first serve. Once I let you know that you've won, um, you'll have one hour to send payment to my PayPal account and then um, I will ship everything out. Um, if it's early in the day, I'll be able to ship it out that day. If it's later in the day, then of course it'll be the following day, but then I will send you a tracking number with your order. So, on lot number six, um, it is $50 shipped. So, this is what all you're going to get. So, I'll start off with the paper pad here. Um, this is the Fancy Pants paper pad. It's alpha sweet, and it isn't opened. So, I can only show you the bottom half of it here. really pretty paper so you get that and then you also get the um, uh, labels that match the pack and there's what you get sorry for the glare and then these are the states so they're the state shapes and then you have like some little um, looks like three by four note cards in the back and it goes with the collection as well it's either either they were in there like that or I had these in a different package and I've put them in there but they all go with this same collection and then um, the seven gypsy stamp And I'll just kind of go, you can pause this video at any time if you want to look closer. So there that is. And then this new paper pad by KI, it's um, Autumn Flowers. Double sided. see so there's that one and then there's this one by KI it's vintage charm um, you can look through some of my older videos and see some albums some six by six albums where I used these KI papers and this one right here in particular they make gorgeous mini albums so there's that and then this is a paper pad that's four and a half by six and a half um, there's four each of 20 designs and it's still sealed so I can't show you each individual um, paper but I can do this to where you can see it's really pretty be great for card making or for matting your photos. The next paper pad that I have is the Frank Garcia Archivist and you can see on the side here. So if you're not familiar with Frank Garcia, he's the one who made that beautiful uh, Santa baby paper line I think that was last year uh, and he has another one out this year that's really really pretty but I think that this was one of Frank's earlier um, designs for when he started designing for Prima 
if I'm not mistaken. If you like Tim Holtz type stuff, um, you're, you're going to love this pepper pad. So there's that. And then these are the journaling cards that match that. And I'm going to put this down here. Um, this is, says something in Spanish. I have no idea. I think that's Spanish. Uh, maybe it's French. I see. I don't know. Here, let me zoom in for you. Watches. The Eiffel Tower. There's several, um, several of the same thing. Numbers, newsprint, newsprint, pen, oh. these are butterflies, I think that's a printing press, but I'm not sure. This is like a little postcard, and then a um, flower. So you get that, and then you also get this paper stack. I'll zoom you back out. This paper stack. Um, I believe that all 240 sheets are still in this paper pad. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think that I've used any of this. I used this for color inspiration when I was mixing and maxing, matching colors for different um, projects. Um, it was one of those things that I pulled out and I just loved. I thought it was beautiful. Um, but I need to pass it on if I'm not going to use it. Now this is not heavy cardstock. Just so you know, it's more of what I call pattern paper, but it's beautiful. I mean, you put this on cards, you know, your heavyweight card stock to make cards or mini albums, it's fine and it's gorgeous. For some reason, it was, it's always been one of those things for the longest time one of those things that I pull out to look at for inspiration look at that for inspiration because it's um, a full spectrum like a rainbow of colors see how you can mix and match and how this like this mustard yellow goes with the orange and the this color red and then the that's that's what I did um, but if I'm not going to cut into it then I need to um, pass it on to one of you all oh, look the pages are still stuck from the factory look is that not gorgeous You can do so many things with these. I think that you could make um, some smaller envelopes. I'm just, I think of all kinds of, um, sorry, my finger was, all kinds of ideas that you could come up with for this. See? The different colors, the colors, color combinations that I would have I would have never thought of I mean I can look at a color wheel all day but um, I'm a visual learner so this really was quite an inspiring paper pad look there 
reminds me of old um, wallpaper. So you get that. And then I have some paper pads that is missing like maybe one sheet or missing uh, maybe two or three sheets. Um, but I'm going to put them in here because there's still plenty of paper. Um, this is Cartabella's Tradition. And I do not remember if it was one sheet or three sheets. I will let you know as I'm scanning through them. Um, some tags. Let me zoom in. Tags. I'll let you know as I'm scanning through them if I spot something right away. So one of these is missing. It has peacocks on it. I think I did a 4th of July card with that. And then this has all kinds of little words that you could cut apart and pop on a card. So, one page out of that missing. Um, this is We Are Memory Keepers, the Antique Chic. Um, I think this one has some yellows taken out of it. These cut apart. We have two sheets of those. Um, and some of them are loose. The, uh, the glue gave way. And here's some cut apart. So only one of these is here. Birds on a wire. Only one of these. One of these. And one of these. So four pages. So you still have 18. You still have what? 14 pages. Uh, this one is making, uh, making memories. This is children at play. I use this paper pad. There's four there were four of each one of these designs of 12 designs I used this when I had like a younger a um, a younger boy birthday card or something that I needed to do um, and I do not remember how many exactly are left but you can see there's a lot and there's at least a couple of sheets of each design in here at least some little rockets <laughs> this reminds me of a book when I was in school Here's another one where they've the glue's given way. And I think that's the last one. So there's that one. This one, um, <clears throat> I think there's only one sheet missing out of this. So this one's called Growing Garden. Bees. These are little butterflies. Ladybugs. That was that was one of the pages that was missing. I think that's the only one out of this pad. I think. Nope, one of the stripe pages is missing too. But the other one is there. So there's that one. 
And then <clears throat> this is the Dear Lizzie Neapolitan on this one. There is a sheet in here of these mason jars. I made a card or something and cut some of these out, but I left these in here, and then there's another full sheet in the paper pad, and I'll show you in a minute. Again, I do not know how many pages is taken out of here in total. You can kind of see there in the side that there's some removed, but there's still so much paper here that um, I'm just more or less giving this to you. I just need some just need some space. See there's that other mason jar page in there. And the embellishment page. And there's two of those. So there's that. And then this one, this is G C D Spring and Bloom. And this page, I don't know why I ripped that out of there like that, but I'm sure that I cut a rose out, but I don't know why I ripped it like that. That normally isn't like me. There's two pieces of um, my scraps that are in here. You can throw those away if you'd like, or I can throw them away for you, whatever. But I did, I left those in there. Um, so these are double-sided, and they're really pretty. That's a, like a blue jean type material with some with a print over it. Some of this has glossy um, has glossy accents on it, not meaning glue, but just they look embossed but glossy. I don't know how to explain it like those, like the roses. And there's butterflies all through this. It's just really pretty. Barnwood, distressed barnwood. It's it's just a gorgeous paper pad. There. Okay. So you get that. And then the last thing in this um, lot are these dies they are still juicy um because seven of my fingers today were these colors <laughs> where i was testing so this is ranger and it's dye ba based ink there's a limeade and if you want to see the pad there it is i will put these um in something this is goldfish I'll put them in like a Ziploc baggie or something to protect them. This one's called Jelly. It's a pretty purple. I don't know why I'm showing you the insides of those. I don't guess you need to see it. Um, this is Sunshine. This one's called Seaside. It's a aqua. It's showing kind of blue in uh, my camera, but it's actually a deep a deep aqua cocoa and magenta is the last one so that's it um, and it is $50 ship and it will come in a medium flat rate box so if you um, all the details of what you need to do will be in the description box below thank you guys I appreciate it talk to you later bye